Hello and welcome to this video on Spring Boot MVC. In this two part video, we'll talk about how to easily create a Spring MVC application using Spring Boot. Spring Boot makes it very easy to create and run these apps, which you can just run as standalone applications using embedded Tomcat, Jetty, or Undertow directly. Spring Boot by default produces an executable jar file which has embedded Tomcat or Jetty, but oftentimes, you would have a web server on which you want to deploy it as a var. You can easily create a var which can be deployed on a web server like Tomcat or WebLogic. Spring Boot project is a great way to get started rapidly building your Spring application with Spring Boot taking care of a lot of settings and configurations automatically providing you application you can just run. Spring Boot at the same time does not get into your way if you want to have your own settings. For instance, time leave is a template engine and if you choose it, Spring Boot will automatically add the Spring Template Engine to your application context. But if you define your own Spring Template Engine with your own settings, then Spring Boot will stay out of the way. In this first video, we will download Spring Tool Suite. Spring Tool Suite comes with Spring Boot and is an easy way to get started. But you can always start off with Eclipse and add the dependencies for Maven or Gradle to include Spring Boot. We will then create a starter project using Spring Initializer. It is an easy wizard with which you can build your starter Spring Boot application. We will then make small changes to create a controller returning us back some information. And finally, we will run the application using the executable jar file. In the second video clip, we will continue with the application we built in part one and add a model and a view to it to make it an MVC application. We will run the application to show the Spring MVC in action. And then finally, we will change the packaging directive to make the build a var instead of a jar. You can use this var for deployment on a standard web server. So let's get started. First, let's go to Google and type Spring Tool Suite Download. That's going to bring you to Spring IO Tools STS All website. Let's click it. Here, based on the operating system of your computer, you can choose the version you want to download. Since I'm running it on Ubuntu Linux, let me click based on Eclipse 4.42 for Linux. It will give me an option to download it as a 32-bit or a 64-bit GunZip file. Let me choose the 64-bit GunZip file since I am on 64-bit. Let me save the file. Let me fast forward the video. Now here is the Spring Tool Suite download in my downloads folder. Let's extract the GunZip. Let me extract the STS bundle and let's keep it in the documents folder. So here is our extract. Let's create a workspace folder in here and let's call it STS workspace. Let's click on the STS bundle, go further to the release folder over here will find the STS application. Let's click it. That's going to launch the Spring Tool Suite for us. For the workspace, let's browse to the STS workspace folder we had created earlier and click OK. All right, so Spring Tool Suite is open. Let's maximize it. Let's go to File, New. Notice it comes up with a Spring Starter Project, but let me show you where to find it in the categories. Let's go down and scroll to Spring. Expand this. Let's choose the Spring Starter Project. Click Next. It's using the Maven build. The packaging type by default is JAR and there are several dependencies you can choose from. As you can see, you can add a lot of technology support like REST repositories, JP, etc. However, we'll just choose Web right now. We'll click Next and then we'll click Finish. It is creating the project structure, downloading dependencies, and auto-generating some code. Okay, so it's done. So here is our demo project. Let's explore it. We can see that it is a Maven build and has the familiar folder structure. Here is the pom.xml file. It references to org.springframework.boot in the group ID. In the dependencies, it has the Spring Boot Starter web and Spring Boot Starter test. Let's go to source main Java. 
Under the package demo, it has created a demo application.java file. Let's open it. So I need to add the reference to Java. So let's go down to the properties. Go to the Java build path. Go to libraries. And Java SE 1.7 is unbound. Let's just fix that. Let's go to our install JREs. Let's add standard VM. Java JDK 1.7 in my documents folder. So I'll give a reference to that, click OK, and then click Finish. Choose this, click OK. So now my Java JDK install is linked to this project. Let's click Finish, click OK, and now the red wiggly lines are gone. So as you can see in the demo application.java file, it's using Spring's annotation-based configuration. It has a Spring Boot application annotation at the top. This is a convenience annotation which is equivalent to the at configuration, at enable auto configuration, and at component scan annotations. So you can as well replace this with these three annotations. Let's import the packages. All right, so we got the required packages imported. It uses the configuration annotation to indicate that this class is a configuration class and it will be processed by the Spring container to generate bean definitions and service requests for those beans at runtime. Add component scan annotation provides component scanning directive. Enable auto configuration as the name indicates enables auto configuration of the Spring application context and tries to configure automatically based on its best guess as to what you might need based on class path etc. This file has a main method like a simple standalone Java application where it runs the demo application as a Spring application. Let us now make some slight changes to add a controller which can return back some information. First, let's add the controller annotation, import it. Controller is one of the annotations of Spring which is a candidate for scanning along with other annotations like service, repository, component, etc. I'm going to paste some code over here. Let me do the imports first. So I've created the response body annotation through which Spring will directly put the response back in the HTTP response and will not try to return the view. Using request mapping, we map the URL over here, the root or the slash URL to the method below it. We have a simple method called entry. It returns a string, my Spring Boot app. Let's save our changes. At this point, if you come and choose to run this project as a Spring Boot app, so run as Spring Boot app, it's going to start the embedded Tomcat and deploy the application over there. It starts the embedded Tomcat and deploy the application over there. So our application is up and running. Let's go to the web browser now. Let's type localhost 8080. Since our root URL is mapped to the entry method which returns the string as a part of the response body, we see the text my spring boot app. Let me point to you that if you had created a war instead and deployed it on a Tomcat, say under web apps, under the demo folder, then you would have to have a slash demo at the end like this. So this concludes this video. If you notice, we did not have to create any web.xml file or application context files. Spring Boot intelligently takes care of it for us. So in this demo, we downloaded and installed Spring Tool Suite we created a Spring Boot project using the Spring Initializer. We made some slight changes and created a simple controller and using that we were able to get back some information from our web application. So this demo demonstrates how easy and quick it is to create a Spring application using Spring Boot. Spring Boot project is thus a great way to start rapidly building your Spring applications. Spring Boot will take care of a lot of settings and configurations automatically providing us an application we can just run. In the next video, we will continue building our Spring MVC application and add a model and a view to it and also a few more controllers. So looking forward to seeing you there.